So before we begin any of the uh, setup here, uh, checking the height height of the fretboard to the bridge, angle, height of the saddle, we need to make sure that the bridge is sanded to the arch of the top. There's a bit, about a 32nd of an inch gap in the center that we can just take out by doing some sanding here. See if you're getting sanding all the way across. Make some lines, see what they how many disappear. here with the bridge now it should be flush with the bridge however I have not yet radiused the fretboard so it, I might lose a sixteenth of an inch uh, after I radius so I'm gonna just do that first and I have a 16 inch radius block uh, that I made in a previous video. I'll put a card to that and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, do some light sanding just to create that radius and then check the fretboard uh, to the side. All right guys, so I've done uh, a bunch of work here off camera. <clears throat> so I didn't, uh, a lot of it was just tuning up uh, the neck angle here. And I showed you that previously, so I didn't think it warranted just harping on that, uh, you know, for 30 minutes of video showing me just sanding the neck. But I essentially worked on this joint and the goal was um, after I got the bridge um, contoured to the arched top and I have it in its rough position, 
uh, I spent some time with the radius block putting uh, my radius here on the fretboard 16 inch radius and that's complete and if I take a straight edge the goal here is that my fretboard with no gaps under my straight edge uh, meets up here with the top of the bridge and uh, it should be essentially flush and I was close I was about you know three sixteenths of an inch uh, high there above the bridge Get you a before I was doing uh, any of my neck adjustments uh, the straight edge was landing maybe about that in that position which is too high you can see uh, it just touches the top which is perfect uh, and so in order to fix that angle I needed to uh, adjust uh, the neck angle a bit um, essentially uh, the neck uh, the top of the neck joint needed to be uh, sanded down just slightly in order for it to uh, raise up a little bit and close that gap. Now in my case, uh, not only did I tune up this here, this surface area just a little bit, but the slot for the truss rod, uh, I enlarged it a little bit because uh, I found that the truss rod was uh, preventing the neck from seating fully. So once I did that, uh, this gap here closed up quite a bit, and then the angle was was pretty well. So uh, really, the next step uh, to do is um, permanently attach the neck. I want to glue down the fretboard. Uh, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to just do a couple of measurement tests to make sure that the neck is square with the body and then we can permanently attach it and uh, then we will work on um, checking the bridge, putting the, the bridge in the right position so that the intonation is correct and I have a little jig for that that I will show you uh, in the next video. So I want to work on installing the nut and I need to square up this edge of the fretboard and cut a nice little little slot for the nut. So I think that'll be easier to do with the neck off of the guitar. Yeah, that'll be easier to do with the neck off, so I'm just gonna take it off and do this work.
All right, guys, so I've got the neck uh, bolted back on. You can see I've got just my uh, 10 or so frets installed. Uh, I just quickly put these in. Uh, Ollie, I'm going to, uh, when I get the rest of the fret wire and I do all the frets, I'll spend a little more time showing you what I do when I, when I dress them, uh, filing them down, so on and so forth, uh, you know, getting them installed. Uh, but I just kind of want to get it to the point where we can start working on the intonation of the bridge. And before I do that, uh, I have to make sure that the neck is square to the body. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do it with the with a toothpick, using that as like a gun sight, but it's just very difficult to line it up properly that way. So I went ahead and got out my laser and um, you can see hopefully let's see if the camera picks this up you can see uh, the laser going right down the middle and then down the middle of the neck let's see if the picks it up let's see where it's landing right at the at the nut so it's just a little bit off so the neck has to go to the right a little bit just a tad so <laughs> I'm going to try to make that adjustment. I'm just going to sand a little bit off this right side uh, of the neck here, just a, just a little bit at a time, and we'll see if that improves on it at all. So, in order to do that, let's set the camera down. camera can pick this up. All right guys, let me give you uh, a recap of where we're at right now. So we, I took some time to put on just the uh, frets that I had. I only had enough fret wire to do about 10 frets here. Um, so I, I put those frets in, I, I glued them, and I dressed them up. I spent a little time dressing them up. I plan on, in once I get my order of fret wire in, I'm going to spend a whole video on, on fretting the whole fretboard and dressing the whole thing up, and, and I'll go into that in more detail then. Uh, but I also uh, used a laser to make sure that the neck was square to the center of the body. Or I guess parallel to the center line of the body. I don't know how, how it would be. Um, so at this point we are ready to glue the bridge on. Now, this is a... It's the... I think it's called the, uh, the saddle finder or something like that. Um, from Stumac and essentially uh, it's got a couple of little pointers here that you um, you set them up to be a certain amount of distance from the tool you use a caliper to do that it's got to be pretty exact and in order to set it up you initially just put this over get this wire out of the way uh, initially what you do is you take the tool Put it up against the nut and you reference it on the 12th fret okay like that and once you have that distance set 
you use this thumb screw to tighten uh, tighten down this little um, block here that sits on the 12th fret. Once you have that set up, you can turn it around, and it will those little those little pointers they uh, this, those little pointers they will sit right in the uh, saddle slot right on the front edge and the pointers are offset slightly and that helps align the bridge with the correct for the correct intonation so once you have this set which I've already done I then just take a couple of really small these are like uh, 16th inch uh, drill bits and uh, I drill two small holes through the bridge into the soundboard and the bracing and I it's essentially I'm pin, I pin them in so that when I glue it down this isn't going to move similarly to what I did on the fretboard pinning that down so at this point we are completely set up here for gluing I got a couple calls here it's uh, an old, old bridge that I'm using as a call to uh, clamp down the ears and I have another call that I'll use for the center and uh, nothing left to do now but to glue this it's going to take a little masking tape and just so I know exactly where the glue will stop This tape is really more for reference. I'm just going to pick it right up as soon as I glue it down. And so we'll pull this out. You can see these pins here. Get some glue.
Alright folks, she's glued. Come back in the morning, see how it, see how it looks. Alright, so I just took the bridge clamps off, or the clamps off the bridge, and uh, came out pretty well. So what I want to do real quick is just drill out these peg holes real quick. I believe that was 7, 30 seconds. No, smaller maybe. Oh yeah, 7, 30 seconds. Real quick, I'm going to try to use this as a block just to back it. So I don't get as much tear out. There is a brace in the way, but I think this will work. So I'm just gonna easily go through this. side dots, uh, especially down here uh, on the fretboard, there's two side dots I have to install here, and you can't do that with the neck attached and glued, and we're going to do that now. Alright, so, for the third fret, holes are tiny. Looks like 330 seconds. Yeah, 330 seconds hole. And we'll make it like quarter inch, is that about? That is eh, like 3 sixteenths. It's deep enough.
do is my nippers. I got the flush cutting nippers. Take a little super thin, some thin super glue. Once the glue dries, we'll just sand that down. Alright, so that's what the only thing we have to get out of the way in order to permanently attach this neck. with the glue because it's not imperative for keeping the neck intact or straight or secure that this is uh, glued down perfectly. It's more to just prevent the wood from trying to cup upwards.